Hi everyone, this is Fletcher with Apollo Mapping, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a web map in MapMe. This video and its corresponding article are part of our ongoing series, Map Maven Methods, in which we detail a component or aspect of Map Maven and take you through how to use it. In the last part of the series, we went over uploading layers, and I'll touch on that briefly here so we can connect the dots to today's lesson. But essentially, you go over to My Data Layering folders and you click Upload Layer. And from there, you're able to upload files that you'd like to use for your maps. And again, if you'd like to learn more about that, you can check out my previous lesson. For today's lesson, we'll be working here in the My Web Maps section. These are ongoing projects that I've already created for myself. Um, you might not have this many to start with, but you certainly can eventually if you'd like. Um, but we'll go ahead and make a new one. So you'll click Create Web Map. And I'm going to make a really simple one. This is a Rancho Santa Margarita. It's a town in Southern California. And I'm just using a layer that I pulled essentially from the internet of the rough boundaries of the city. Uh, of course, you could be much more complicated than that in your description, but this is really just to show you guys how to go through the process. So we'll keep it simple. Um, you also want to notice right here that you have the option to make your web map public or not. It says check for a non-username and non-password protected web map. You can also over here choose a custom logo for the map that all the people using the map will see. I'm not too worried about that right now, but uh, it's definitely an option to have. Okay, so I've clicked next and we're now in the interface section. Uh, one of the first things you'll probably notice is this box right here that says set bounding box. Um, I already went ahead and actually did this, but oftentimes it'll start all the way out at this whole extent. And in my case, I uh, you know I know that I'm working in this area of Southern California, or this town, Rancho Santa Margarita is. So there's probably no need for me to be this far zoomed out if none of my layers are gonna be over here in Phoenix or out on the ocean. So we'll just go ahead and set it to that rough area. All right. You also have the chance to pick your web map layout. I actually kind of like the gray one because it's nice and simple, so I'm going to go with that. And I click Next. We're now in the Layers section. Uh, this shows you some of the layers that I've already uh, uploaded into my data layers and folders, as we discussed in the previous lesson. And it also shows you the base maps that we have preloaded for all web, um, sorry, for all web map users. Um, these are open street map layers. So if you're not familiar with the base map, it's essentially just a map that goes in the background and gives you some context to where the files you're loading into the map are. Uh, and you'll understand that a little more clearly uh, in the next lesson. But I've actually already gone ahead and already dragged these over, but you can drag layers across from the layer pool over into your web map. Anything over here will end up in the actual map. Um, but you'll notice I kept it simple. I got the city boundary right here, and then this is that base map. Um, I also could have, if I wanted to, clicked this button, use for initial map extent, which would essentially do automatically for me what I was doing over here manually with this box, which is deciding uh, the extent of my map's coverage. Um, so you can also use the size of the layer essentially to determine the map extent if you'd like. Um, I am, looks like I'm set here. Uh, I could, of course, add far more layers and make something pretty complex, but I don't think I need to do that for today's lesson. So we'll move on to the final tab, which is sharing. And this page allows you to copy a created link that you could share with everyone that will take them to the map. And you can also invite internal users and create a custom message. We already have a built-in one here, but you could, of course, type whatever you'd like there. And the same is the case for the external users section over here. So if you were to invite both internal and external, you would just make sure to add the users that are already in Map Maven's platform here and the email addresses for people who are not yet using Map over here and click the corresponding buttons. So that's really it. It's very straightforward. You could literally make a map in less than a minute if you wanted. And if you wanted to make something more complicated, you could spend days on it um, and anywhere in between. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. 
And in our next lesson, we'll go over actually looking at the map and manipulating it and a whole lot more. So I'm excited to show you all the other features. Thanks.